Oh, welcome to Brighton's of Lancashire Restoration Co. Little video, end of the year. It is today, Friday the 23rd of December. Christmas Eve is tomorrow. All excited. Anyway, we've now finished for Christmas. We finished yesterday lunchtime. For the last few weeks we've been undertaking a lime plastering job on a Victorian cottage in Olmskirk in Lancashire. We've now completed the upper floor, two bedrooms, not a very big cottage, um, and we've done a wall on the stairwell. All complete, all done, ready for lime wash, which we won't be doing. We're not doing a lime wash. Anyway, the next bit we're doing is the lounge. Now we've already started that. We've done the scratch coat, which is a combination of um, lime, sand and goat hair. We've completed the front of the chimney breast. It's only small um, because most of it's stone and open fire. Um, we ended up having to make some um, wooden dowel beads for the corners because these were missing. Um, fortunately we had some uh, Victorian pitch pine in the workshop so we uh, cut some down um, on the bench saw and uh, then whittled some beads with a, a wood plane um, we fitted them they, they look they look the part um, and we've scratched floated and topped the front of the chimney breast we've also um, got the um, scratch and float coat on the sides of the chimney breast on the the cheeks as they know. Um, the rest of the room uh, we've got the scratch coat on. We shall be returning to that uh, between Christmas and New Year just to put the float coat on and then I think it'll be in the new year when we put the finishing coat on that one. Um, basically we're waiting on um, a delivery of um, lime because uh, we've kind of run out and uh, possibly left it a little bit late to order it but we didn't know we were going to run out now once we finish that one which has to be finished at the very very latest 8th of january we'll be starting a fresh project on another building in lingham st Anne's. now this is a um, big commercial building it used to be a victorian townhouse but a, a great big place um, it's had a, a modern extension um, probably the size of if not bigger um, the original build itself and we we've got the job we've been tasked commissioned even to reface um, a lot of the stonework um, mainly on the side of the building or one of the sides of the building um, very badly eroded um, and cost predicts as to what can be done with it and basically refacing rather than replacing um, which is good for us because we don't replace we, we just reface stone um, because all, all we undertake is is brick masonry um, conservation repair and restoration um, so we're refacing online plastering we're not stone masons we don't claim to be stone masons <clears throat> but we do from time to time get people asking us to replace stone which we, we just say look get a stone mason we, we don't do it so we've got that to do, that's our next project, um, which is a tiny window on that one really, it's, it's only four weeks turnaround we've been given, um, so hopefully the weather's uh, going to be good to us. Now we're going to go with prompt cement on that one rather than lime, uh, for the simple reason, um, it's an unlisted, non-conservation building, it, it's just a building that needs tidying up. Um, it's for a construction company, uh, I believe, they're based in Manchester. Um, they're doing a new roof on it, putting new windows in, um, and the, the windows um, are going to be uh, wooden sash, single glazed wooden sash windows <coughs> that are being fitted. And um, we've just got to do the stone. It's um, already scaffolded out for us, a huge scaffolding, it must have cost a fortune. Um, so we've just got to basically turn up with the, the, the tools and the materials and miles and get on with it. Um, 
once we've completed that, we've then got a, a Victorian townhouse uh, again in Lidham St Anne's, and um, that's uh, line pointing on the um, side and front elevation of the property. Um, again, it's going to be done in lime mortar. Um, only it's a coloured lime mortar; it's black. So I would imagine that they used uh, these sort of coal dust when they did it originally. Um, we've already done some work on the building. We restored a stone bay um, last summer on the building itself. So we know that the mortar that was used originally for the brickwork was a black lime mortar. And I like to just do it as it was. I don't like to introduce new. If it was black, we'll do it in black. If it was white, we'll do it in white. If it was pink, we'll do it in pink. That's what we do. Like for like. So we've got that one to do. Um, we've also got a, a, another one in St Anne's, and that is a um, line pointing job again, with a little bit of stone refacing. Uh, that's just the front elevation of the property. It's an Edwardian house. Again, nothing special. Uh, so we're going to line point uh, because it's got cement pointing at the moment um, and the cement pointing is causing one or two issues um, with spalling bricks. So we'll chase out the, uh, the sand and cement pointing and replace it with lime and then we shall reface the, uh, the bits of stonework. There's only a couple of bits, there's a couple of windowsills to do, I think there's one mullion to do and there's a couple of quins. On the corner um, again with that one we'll probably use prompt cement because prompt cement is supposed to be vapor permeable I don't know they tell us these things we'll use it if it is it is if it isn't it isn't again it's not a, a listed building or anything like that you know this, this building's had a, a modern roof put on it it's got plastic windows in it it's got plastic fascias plastic gutters plastic downspouts Inside, no doubt, is, is all gypsum plaster, so prompt cement. You know, it'll set quicker. It's a bad time of year, it's cold. You know, she just wants it to look pretty. So that's what we'll do. Now, we've also been commissioned um, to do quite an iconic building in St Anne's. It's one of the, uh, the older buildings, if not possibly one of the oldest in the town. Quite a history with it. We'll not go into details now um, because we want to do some videos etc on it when we come to do the job which will be late spring. Now the, the job itself entails removing the dreaded masonry paint off the brickwork. Removing the dreaded inappropriate cement pointing from the brickwork. Removing paint from stonework sills heads and there's also a stone plinth once the paint's been removed from everything remove the cement pointing then repoint with a quick lime mortar now i think what we're probably going to do with that is once once we've put it in and we've compacted it and we've gone over it with um, a torque iron we'll possibly do the uh, the penny roll uh, style of pointing because it was most probably done with that when it was originally built. Now the bricks themselves are um, the clay common. I would imagine that they were produced at the Westby Brickworks, uh, which is kind of adjacent to to Lytham. Um, because when this cottage was built, um, St Anne's didn't exist; it was just Lytham. Um, and they've just outcrops of farm cottages, etc., in the area. And they would all have been produced from Westby Brick. So once we've done the work to the exterior of the building, we are then going to strip back the plaster work on the um, internal walls and uh, reintroduce line plastering. Uh, because this building is is very damp not just the odd parts i mean this this is bad this this really is by probably one of the worst that i've ever come across um, and it's purely because your builder's been in there and he's put cement render on the inside and gypsum plaster and 
cement pointing on the outside and masonry paint and everything because that's how you do it mm. so we're going to get rid of all that and we're going to put it back to as it was when it was built back in the early 1800s everything in line and then hopefully that building will dry out doesn't need chemical doesn't need cement render doesn't need cement pointing doesn't need waterproofer doesn't need paint it needs lime and then left alone to dry out it's a nine inch wall silicon injection doesn't work is junk anyway so that's one project we've got on now then Lytham Hall yes the boathouse well it's still not finished when I initially looked at the boathouse I was a bit skeptical about doing it I must admit however because it's at the hall and I quite like Lytham Hall, lovely old Georgian manor house. We decided to take it on. And it was basically one Gothic arch and what was left of the two side walls. And there wasn't a lot left of that. Three or four course. So we, we spent quite a bit of time this year um, reintroducing brickwork, um, which had basically collapsed and gone um, we've restored the gothic arch now um, again reinstated a lot of brickwork above it um, to try and get a bit of strength into it again because an arch the more weight that's on it the stronger it is you know um, not a lot of weight on it and it's flimsy so that's good and strong now the arch um, and we've got a lot of brickwork up we've, we've put down i think it's about a thousand bricks or something like that that we've reinstated uh, we started reinstating the, um, the, the the far end of it. Uh, it. Also, used to have a gothic arch, and I believe the uh, local kids decided it'd be fun to um, push it in the lake, as you do. No, mind boggles. Don't know. I can't see how that's funny, but you know, kids are kids. Uh, we won't be reinstating the other gothic arch. I'd love to do it. Don't get me wrong. I'd absolutely love to do it, but. I can't afford to do it and the hall really can't afford to do it um, now it's taken us that long to do it because we're doing it as and when uh, and the reason we're doing it as and when instead of just getting in there and, and cracking on with it is because of the uh, the cost now because they're a charity everything they do on that site on Lytham Hall grounds they have to raise funds for so whether it's planting a few daffodil bulbs or it's a major job like the boathouse, they have to raise the funds. They haven't got it otherwise. And there's not many grants available, you know, English heritage grants or government grants or etc. They're hard to get and there's not many about. So they have to raise it through events and talks and things like that. So we, we do our bit where we can to, to try and keep the cost down. So it takes us a bit longer to do it, but they get it at the right price that they can afford. So one of the problems that we have there is one of the retaining walls that meets the lake itself. Because bear in mind, it was a boathouse. So you, you could go round the lake and sail into the boathouse in your boat. Well, one of the retaining walls is missing. Now, under the water, it's there. But above the water, it isn't. That's a problem, especially when it comes to laying bricks. Because however good you are, you cannot lay bricks underwater, especially with lime mortar. Can't be done. So how do we get around this problem? Well, we either drain the entire lake and then dig out several tons of sediment to get down to the brickwork. No. Or we put a shutter alongside of the brickwork that is now underwater and we then fill it with concrete up to the level of the water. 
so it can't be seen but it's there and what I then do is lay bricks on top of that concrete to reinstate that wall and in turn that wall can then have its stone copings put back on to what is underneath some plywood at the moment a lovely Victorian terracotta floor now that's pretty much one of the final bits we'll be doing but because it's now December it's icy it's cold it's raining try and drive down there with the van and it gets stuck and bogged down so yeah we'll wait till the summer and that's about it really for the moment we've got these bits of jobs on they're going to keep us going probably till early summer so if you've got a church perhaps a victorian townhouse a georgian townhouse a country mansion some farm buildings a boundary wall and you want the brickwork conserving repairing or restoring let us know that's what we do we don't do new stuff we don't come in and build you an extension we don't fit your kitchen we can serve masonry and plaster work don't want modern plaster work only lime so if you're interested you go on our website brysonslime.com Yes, I know it sounds like slime. Has been pointed out to me several times. However, you can contact us. You can also have a look at our Facebook page at Bryson's of Lancashire Restoration Co. But that's what we do. We conserve, repair and restore Edwardian, Victorian and even sometimes when we get them, Georgian properties. Doesn't have to be a house. It could be a wall, it could be anything, but it's all done with traditional skills, natural lime materials. Anyway, have a great Christmas, have a fantastic new year, and if you're starting to like our videos, which I must admit we need to work on, and I am looking for an editing package to be able to edit the videos to make them more interesting so I can join videos together and put pictures into the videos as well so we're looking at doing that we're also looking at getting a better camera to be able to do them to try and improve the channel but we also need your help to improve the channel we need you to subscribe we need you to give us a thumbs up for the videos and eventually we'll build a good channel that everybody can enjoy. Well, like I say, have a good Christmas and a good New Year. And we'll catch you in the New Year.